The thing about paleoanthropology is, I mean, people, they are scientists. They're described as scientists, and indeed they are. They have degrees in, in biology and anthropology and, and so forth. But none of them, I, I reckon, will deny that this is, in a large part, a treasure hunt. And now, can you imagine? Just, just look at this now. This is, uh, this is a, um, a cast of the skull of uh, Australopithecus africanus that was found in, uh, written up in 1925 by Raymond Dart. Now, his story of finding this is that uh, he didn't find it at all, actually. A student did. And, uh, and it was sent a box of fossils uh, to him, on the, and they arrived on the day that he was being best man at his friend's wedding. And he opened up the box, and what he saw was actually, this is a cast of the, of the brain. It's not the actual brain, but it was as the skull was lying down, it, the brain case filled up and it formed this cast. And he looked at that, and whilst he couldn't see any of this because this was all in the rock, but across the back here, there's, he reckoned he could see uh, a fissure that's called the lunate sulcus. Um, and its form was such that it was more like a human brain, lunate sulcus, than that of any any other primate that he knew. He'd worked on brains. Now, there's, that's one of the coinc those coincidences turn up over and over again. Here was a man who'd been presented with a bit of evidence that he was probably best the best man qualified to, to actually analyze. But there you are. He then chiseled away. All the rest of it had to come out of the rock. Um, and then when he got around here, he could see that these are, these are actually the permanent teeth coming through here. So these are the juvenile teeth. So this is a juvenile. In fact, it was probably, she, he, why do I call it she? Um, probably about eight or nine years old at the time that it died. And then the question of how did it come to die? Is it an ancestor? He, having found it in Africa, called it Australopithecus africanus, um, and was hauled over the coals because Australopithecus means ape of the south. He was an Australian. So, <laughs> People have said he was being a bit personal about it. Africanus, because it was found in Africa. And this was the first fossil that was found in Africa that actually supported, to some extent, Darwin's assessment that if there are fossil humans to be found anywhere, they will be found in Africa, because that is where man's closest relative is found, the, the large apes, the gorillas and the chimpanzees.